Alex, it's with you again. Um, mm. Interesting uh, disclosure from Intel. They've updated XESS to version 1.3 and uh, it seems to be based around more advanced AI model. And yeah, some interesting stuff going on here in terms of scaling, right? Yeah, so the the first the model 1.3, Intel's been improving it since it came out. This time the the demo, the example they show on their website was mainly about like I don't know, I'd call it like like the 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 texture resolution is too high and it looks like Z fighting, but it's really like moiré patterns going nuts as the sub pat the sub pixels there like it doesn't know how to rearrange it into a good stable yep. image because there's just too much detail and here it's stabilizing it it's completing the detail while not over blurring it it's not perfect not perfect but it's better but it's vastly improved <laughs> yes and that this was actually something that i showed off in my original xcss video that could happen in uh shadow of the tomb raider i yeah. pointed it out as a difference between it and dlss whereas otherwise xcss was extremely competitive uh it, it, it i actually thought it had better motion handling than dlss in that game as i pointed out back then um but so that's one part of it the second part is new modes for scaling typically uh let's just take a 4k here like 4k quality mode for dlss is 1440p uh, then balance mode is like 1254 or 1296p. I always forget. Maybe 1265p or something like that. Weird. And then the performance mode is set, uh, 1080p. And ultra performance mode, which not every game supports, is 720p at that point. Uh, that's like these are very like like you have a lot of variation there between like quality uh, balanced and performance and you can get a good scent like you can actually those are great but when it, all of a sudden you go from 1080p down to 720p in ultra performance mode and that is a huge gulf in resolution uh, and Intel is saying actually let's add more variation in there so they've done a rearrangement of things where they now they used to have ultra quality mode which was like 1792p or something like that quality mode 1440p balance mode 12 whatever p and then 1080p was uh, performance mode now they've busted out a whole new bunch of them and they've rearranged it where now performance mode is like 900p and the mm. old performance mode is now balance mode and the old uh quality mode is now balance mode and then the new quality mode is the ultra wait sorry i'm, I'm getting confused myself look at this graph that I put on screen right here. Uh, sorry, Oliver. <laughs> Basically, they ultra rearranged the performance was, is still 720p. And yeah. They, ne they never had ultra performance. They never had it with. before, to, to be fair. But yeah. they the new performance mode is now lower. And then they have an ultra quality mode plus uh, for the old ultra quality mode. This is just more variation in there for so people can choose their performance and image quality level better than just four options essentially yeah. and also there's a native mode here which is also new to xcss the dla uh, alternative yeah and I, I like this a lot i mean my preferable thing would actually just be a percentage slider yeah because i'm a power user but for the non-power users among us this is a better more like predefined way to get a sense of things uh the only confusion that i see now is uh, maybe reviewers may not know this is happening and they'll put the XESS version to performance mode and they're like, gosh, this is running so much better than FSR2 performance mode. Yeah, or, DLSS. Uh, or DLSS for that matter. So uh, I'm, I'm excited about this. I would love to look at XESS again very soon. In fact, we're kind of due for that anyways when FSR 3.1 comes out. Yeah. Uh, so in the next couple new months DLSS as well DLSS yeah. 3.7 3.7 all these things it these things they they're at least evolving i complained not too long about a while ago that fsr2 and dlss had gone a little stagnant uh so to see them evolving is exactly what we want and in the case of these ml model ones like xcss and dlss uh it's kind of like the one virtuous cycle that they have in them that's really great just more training uh and better training leading to better results. So yeah, I'm, I just wanted to talk about it because we talked about FSR 3 before, we should talk about XCSS, and this is a very good evolution. I would like to see the other uh, IHVs here, like AMD and NVIDIA add more than just the, the current modes they have, a little bit more variation. So um, with DLSS, you can obviously swap in new DLLs and bring 
new quality enhancements to older implementations. Is that the case with XCSS? It has DLLs, uh, but I've never drag and dropped them okay. to check it out uh, because there's been so few versions. There's been like the 1.0 version is the one I don't think actually that shipped with DLLs. The 1.1 definitely had a DLL. 1.2 was just the support for DRS. I don't think it changed anything in the model. And then this is the, like the first larger model update they've done. So, yeah.